Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome back to our channel. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Eh, buenos días. Emma here waking up like a, with a swag. Say hi, Emma. Mommy. Say hi. Yeah, she be having the swag. Look how she wake up. The swag. So. Uh, in this video, Victoria is going to talk about how the baby sleeping, how she's doing with her milk, how much she's drinking. But I want to start now because I just literally wake up and Emma wake up earlier this morning, like a 5.30. It's like 11 a.m. But she wake up at 5.30. How many times you wake up, baby? Uh, at three some at three on the dot she woke up. Uh, how much milk you drink? Um, you give not her. that much. I think like one and a half. Oh. No, when I make milk for her formula, I fight daddy. She drink like four. Really? Yeah. But she also fell asleep earlier than usual yesterday. Like she fell asleep at like ten, right? Mm -hmm. And she was sleeping since like eight. And she would go about three. That's pretty good. Yeah, she's been taking some breaks. How many formulas she drinking like daily? Like six or four every three hours? She takes like four every three hours. But then she cry like an hour yeah. and a half later. <laughs> Because she's drinking so much. Look at that. 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 It's a fat, fat, fat. That's so fat, fat. She's looking at the camera. Yeah, like, she's like, what, what is that? And she's sleeping like, the most that she had ever slept was like eight hours. And that was one day that she was super tired. I don't know if we were like in the streets or something. I think because she was like fighting her sleep. Yeah. And we didn't give her like that much food because sometimes, <laughs> hey, sometimes she, she, she drinks and drinks and because she's fighting her sleep, she keep drinking. So I just changed her diaper. I don't know what she wants. What do you want, buddy? Okay. You want to say something? All right. Let me make some coffee and drink some coffee right now for now. Because having a baby, you, you need, need that coffee. coffee. You need that drug. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, you want coffee? You want coffee, Emma? You want coffee? You want coffee? You want coffee? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you were talking right now. What you were saying? What you were saying? Hmm? <laughs> Emma, what you were saying? I'm warming up your coffee too. Go Why to are you guys serious? <laughs> she Where's was just talking right now. Come on. This will you in the formal. You hungry? Me? Yeah. Not really. Yeah. You? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work out before I eat. You gonna work out? I need Here? to rest before I'm tired to work You're out. You're tired? Right? You have a bad night? I it was just like we went to sleep late and then she woke up right away after we went to sleep. Okay. I'm gonna put her to sleep, I'll go to the gym. And uh, you can work out after I took care. 
So I lose software, virus, bacteria. Yeah. <laughs> Finally smiling in the camera. It's smiley, smiley, smiley. It's smiley. It's smiley. It's a clavita. Emma, papa, papa, papa. Emma, tell them my milk is ready. I need my milk. I need my milk. I need my milk. My milk is ready. <laughs> Watch this grilling. Look at the side. Okay, baby. Tell them about the the acquisition that you have here. So I have a milk warmer. Mm -hmm. I must know. You can put bottles. Or you can put the bags of the breast milk, or you can put the frozen bags. So and right now we have the the bag. So I can either defrost it, warm it up. I think that's it, right? Warm it up, yeah, and almost cook because you have like a little food in there. So you can put the food later on. Oh yeah, her baby. Uh, soon we're gonna start giving a little stuff to her because that's how you do it in the Dominican Republic. You eat early, and you dug your food. So actually, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know that this this existed. So Gene, he started looking on Amazon like, oh, we should have like a warmer because before what we were doing is taking the bottles, and we would like boil water and put the the baby bottle in there. But it was taking so long, and then he was like, no, there has to be like a warmer that we can get that is faster. And then he found it, and I was like, okay, oh, we're doing this. And it's way better. That and a sterilizer. Yeah, this is a sterilizer. It was, um, it was a gift from the right. registry. And I think it was my boss that gave it to me. So shout out to my boss. Thank you so much. Who was it? It was either Ralphie Steph or Steph's mom. Oh, so it was like one of our friends. Okay, thank you yeah, for I the gift. That was like... Oh, really good that, gift. Yeah, that was that, so that was like number one gift in there. But appreciate you. Peace and love. Uh, now we're having our coffee and then we're feeding Emma. And she's laughing. So the milk is ready. We're going to have our coffee and then feed her. She's like, I know the camera's on. I'm not signing. <laughs> no. Right. I'm having some coffee, okay? Coffee? She's like, don't play with me, give me my There milk. you go, there you go. Warm and good. Breast milk. Made from yesterday. You got a hair here. Mmm. Tlooky, 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 well, guys, so she's sleeping. We're gonna put her down. She's like quiet, like she know what we're talking. Yeah, she's really tired. So once she drinks this milk, she's going straight to the bed. She's going knock knock. As long as long as come on, guys. As well, Victoria. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know yet. I'll be back, baby. Okay, honey, have fun. Have fun? Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish pumping, look to my hand, I'm gonna work out. Okay. And I'll go to the gym and the salon. Be back. Okay, bye. bye. Today is not a beautiful day. Well, every day is a beautiful day, but today is a rainy day where you still gotta put the work in. The other day, me and Victoria, we make the decision to go to the gym. She went in first, uh, and then I waited for her in the car with Emma, 
But in a rainy day like this, it's not a good idea to take out a baby. Well, even a dog would say it's not a good idea to go outside if you don't have to. But I have to take out. I have to. I have to take the effort to do these things of working out so I can keep the habit of. Even though with a kid, you have to take care of your body and find a way to keep mental and physical stability in your life, okay? So, let me get this working and we continue, baby. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here on our vlog and just say that nothing is impossible and everything that you put your mind to like you can do it so me and gene if you guys haven't seen on his tiktok but we alternate um going to the gym sometimes so like i'll go in first he'll stay with emma in the car and then we switch so we can each get a workout in um but a lot of the times like i don't really like to go to the gym every single day like i like home workouts too so like today was one of those days where gene went to the gym by himself and i worked out here in the house so Thankfully, we have like a really good baby and she like takes a lot of naps throughout the day and kind of long ones So I think she's been napping now for like an hour and a half or so which gives me time to work out. So I just did a 35 minute workout which you don't have to do an hour and a half or an hour every single time you work out um, I just did a 35 minute one and our baby's so good that she lets me take a shower So now I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna have a shake um, so, I'm just trying to stay healthy, like everybody else. Um, but, let me know if you guys want us to keep doing these vlogs, where, like, we vlog our workouts and stuff like that, because, like, now I'm trying to get more into the hang of that, and especially since I'm going to be going to work soon, um, I want to try and be, like, really consistent with these at-home workouts, because when I come from work, I could just do a workout, and Jim will be actually home, so it works out perfect. But sorry I'm out of breath and let me know if you like these videos. And one more thing that I forgot to mention in the last video that I just uh, spoke. I wanted to say like when it comes to working out and like getting out of that like funk. It's really hard because like for me too. It gets some days I'm just like oh like I wake up and I don't want to do anything. But then... What I like to do is like don't even like think about it just get into workout clothes put, Turn on a workout and just just do it because at the end when you finish that workout like that feeling is just like indescribable um, And especially like when you go through so much things like in life, it's so hard like anxiety and all these other things um, When I work out it just like releases all of that so Whoever's going through anxiety or you're just in that funk where you're just like I don't even want to get out of bed just do it like do a workout even if it's 20 minutes sorry for the fire truck in the back even if it's 20 minutes 25 half an hour like just get up and do it have your body move because when you finish that workout it's the best feeling in the world so and it helps for anything it helps me so I hope it helps you guys too oh everyone we are back I'm back from the gym I'm about to go to the super grab some stuff for dinner and see Victoria it's always good to go to the gym in the day because in the afternoon it's I don't know I hit different when you go to the gym in the morning or not even like super super early like midday if I was able to like work from home or like do some type of work that I can have my own schedule, I would definitely come to the gym all the time in the morning because you feel better. I don't know, your day goes better. You have a better sleep. The vibe that you get, the energy that you grab after you work out in the day is different because when you go in the afternoon, you get home and then you shower, you might sleep good, but then it's gonna, going to a stage of your workouts and your days that after you work out in the afternoon that you're not gonna be able to sleep at night that good. So, you know, I highly recommend working out in the day. 
make sure you always, always find something that you waste or consume energy and consume mental uh, energy. Because if you do that, if you waste, if you burn energy uh, physically and mentally, that's gonna reduce your anxiety, your depression thoughts, all of that stuff that is keeping you from achieving, you know, small things like being happy or having your mind straight. So, just a thought out there, just telling you the facts, what I have learned with the time. So, I'll be right back. Go to Supergrass something and then see you home. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Emma's awake. Victoria got the fire on. Make it. How you doing? Say hi, Mama. How you doing, Mama? You in a good mood now? You want to laugh, Mama? You want to laugh? Wait, follow the camera. You a good girl, smart girl. Woo. Hi, Papa. How are you, Mama? Papa. Baba, Baba, you're a good man right now, huh? I forgot the stuff that I bought in the supermarket in the car, so I have to go back. Yeah. Good luck to me. Uh, it's raining crazy. Oh my god. You charging your smoothie in there? Yeah, I made it in one. Okay. You made one already? Okay. Let me take out the meat. Ay, ay, ay. I'll make some carrots. Hey. Some carrots. Okay. And some what? Well, how do you call this thing? Tayota. Coyote Island. Habla more. Food is ready, food is ready, carrots, yautia, salad, oh that salad look good, pork chop, game time, and my crime. <laughs> que pasa mamá, que pasa, que pasa, oh, you wanna be carry? We have to eat. We have to eat. Come on, Mama. Let us eat something. <laughs> okay. Let's go eat, baby. Hungry. Hey. You hungry? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, fun fact. Victoria likes the, the meat that is almost burnt. So she don't believe in medium well, none of that stuff. I believe it when I have steak. Medium have, well? Yeah, I always order medium well. Okay. But you like stuff, you know, crunchy. Because I don't want to see no blood in carne de cerdo. That's like, ugh. Ay, be bad. What's up? Hi, baby. So, how you feeling after you ate? Good. How are you? Good? Okay. Baby, can you tell me, like, what life I change after you have a kid? What or how my life has changed? Like, what? have changed or like how whatever you want to do i feel like you can say oh something that have changed is uh, you don't have time for yourself mm. like you used to i think like i would just say the sleep wise is like different like i cannot just go to sleep the whole night and now wake up at least one time. Like, I need to wake up in the middle of the night. But then it's like, in the day, like, I wouldn't really say I don't have time to do things that I want to do because, like, I'm going to take a lot of naps. Mm -hmm. So, like, today in the vlog, in, like, the small video that I recorded, like, I said that, like, oh, I have time to at least, like, um, work out. Mm -hmm. I had time to shower. And mm -hmm. then, like, once I shower... She woke up, but it's like I fed her a little bit, but in the form of, I was able to still do my hair. Mm -hmm. So it's just like balancing the time, but she takes naps, so I'm fine. Okay, baby. 
It's just the silly because you know I love to sleep. Yeah, but you you decide not to sleep because she's sleeping right now. Yeah, but then it's like who the heck is gonna sleep at six in the afternoon? Okay, but then when you start working, no, obviously when I start, you're gonna working. get home and then you're gonna be like, oh, I'm going to sleep. You of don't course. Really care. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How well, about you? Well, life, I've not really changed for me. I'm more like a chill person. Like I don't mind. I go with the flow. But something that I, I can relate with you is like, I don't want to sleep in the day. Like the night to sleep. Right. So, I. I prefer to like sleep through the night, but then you have to take care of the baby. The baby cannot wait for nothing. Exactly. So baby's not something that you, oh, I'll do it later. Yeah. Baby's crying, you're gonna take care of it. But yeah, that and also like hanging out with people, like going outside, like that have changed, but I don't miss it. Because that means that I'm going out, right? But then I don't, like, I'm not doing something that I haven't done. You know, I've done that stuff. So it's like now I'm doing something that I haven't done, and I'm enjoying that more than me going out. That's true. I'm wasting that money, you know. But, yeah. What would you tell to new parents, baby? About, like, do you give them respect? You, what can you tell to new parents? Like advice? Advice or, like, yeah, like from your experience in this Th would, almost three months because Emma is going to be three months December 17th. Yeah. I would say just, like, take it day by day and don't, like, stress because stress is not going to lead to anything when it comes to the baby. Like, if she's crying or he's crying, it's really simple with babies. Like, they either need to have their diaper changed, need to eat, need to get burped. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Like, there's... And if you checked all those boxes and the baby's still hysterically crying, then that's when you're like, all right, what can I do now? But if you have, like, a pediatrician, like, our pediatrician, she tells us all the time, if you see something that's not normal, send me a quick text and I'll answer. So it's like, okay. just try to take a chill, mm -hmm. you know? There's times, like, today when I was... um getting dressed Emma started waking up and she started like crying and like in the beginning like I would run to her but now like I just let her cry because I need to finish getting dressed to be able to feed you Facts. that's like <clears throat> the saying of you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of others yeah and babies kind of like you need to rush to take care of yourself and then take care of the baby right but then later on when she's bigger I guess like we we will take our time to take care of us because baby M is going to leave us. Yeah. And eventually. then also, like, I was obviously taking my time. I got dressed. Then she started crying. I obviously got dressed faster, but I finished getting dressed. And then, like, mm -hmm. I went to get her. Yeah. So I guess just that. Just kind of, like, don't freak out when the baby cries because babies are going to cry all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. And also, I will, sell to, I will tell the new parent that... In order for you to have your baby be independent and strong, do it the way that you want to do it and listen to your parents, but create your own way. So that means us, we put the baby to sleep on her stomach on and the mouth. First move, we start watching her, putting her for like 10 minutes. Now she sleep on her stomach and she's fine. If you put her in her back, she's not going to sleep at all. So do what it makes best for you. And, of course, supervise the baby because if you don't supervise the baby, you don't know how the baby going to react. Let me tell you guys. Us, we did the earring for the baby. We put her on her back. She didn't She didn't fall asleep. She was like, she was touching her earring. You put her on her stomach, she fell asleep like nothing happened. Like that even was like, okay, whatever. And she's good, you know? That's like almost a month that she did her earrings. Yeah. So it's just the way that you do it. But we're in the holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, if you have a baby and it's the holiday, make sure you take pictures of that baby because now I look at the pictures 
from my, you know, my first year when I was little, and it's fun. Like, I thank my family for taking pictures like that. So those moments never gonna come back. The same, those moments that you with your parents, and you, it, they not gonna come back. That vacation that you took with your parents, or I don't know, that lunch that you took with your parents, never gonna come back. So the same way that you live with your parents, make sure you live with your child because that's not gonna come back. And also, I forgot this one. I recommend you to take your kids and drop it off in your grandparents, or if you don't have your parents, if you have, you know, an uncle or aunt that take care of the baby good and you trust them, leave it for a little bit, go have dinner, because you need that time. You need you need to practice distance, because now we are free, we have family leave because of the baby, but eventually we're gonna go back to work, and that affection that you have with the the baby is going to be hard to like change their routine all of that yeah but I'm not mentally trying to prepare myself for that because that's going to be really hard yeah, yeah. alright baby well this was today's day with us we're not doing that much now I went to the super got something to cook later on but we ate late we fast the whole day so, so that's another thing we've been doing. We've been fasting. Oh yeah, because we we know that active with the baby. Like of course you get tired because you're taking care of a baby, you're burping them, you're carrying her. But at the same time it's like you know exercise. Like Victoria's not taking the trains, walking down the block to go to take the train or take the bus or going up the stairs to her job. Same as me, like I'm not doing like, I'm not going outside, I'm not doing field visits, I'm not doing nothing. So it's like, I'm chilling at home. Matter of fact, just reduce the ca the calories that you eat through the day and just eat when you're really hungry. Drink a lot of water and do your exercise. How we did today. But that's now because the baby's not, it's manageable. Mm -hmm. You can manage it. And one advice that we're gonna give like for new moms, cause I mm -hmm. forgot to say it, to don't really be hard on yourself. Like when it comes to bouncing back, mm -hmm. I think bouncing back it became more of like a like a what do you call that? Like a social media based type thing. But, like but so many... bouncing back is this? Oh, Jesus. What is bouncing back? Really? Bouncing back is like go getting back to your body. Before you were pregnant, after you give birth. Yeah, but like the so, thing is, uh, this is how I feel. So like I'm a guy, but you can finish now. But I just gotta say something. I feel like that will take a long time, and I said that because my mom, she didn't look how she looked like in the last ten, fifteen years after she had my sister. You know, I I saw her. It was me and her for like ten years. Then she had my sister, and then I saw. Or change and she said it but continue saying what you're saying my advice would be to not really be hard on yourself on trying to bounce back to your pre-body uh -huh. because while those first months like your body's already first of all you give birth and your body loses naturally so much water mm -hmm. weight so that's one and two if you're breastfeeding or breast pumping that helps so much because you burn calories as you do it and then also you're getting up like to get the baby to burp the baby whatever so just don't be too hard on yourself but also once you get like your six week you know you're all cleared postpartum i would recommend just do like walks even day or work out a little bit because if you do that and then you also breastfeed or breast pump it's a plus leave in the comment if you wanna if you want victoria to to do an exercise video because she's a pro in that dancing stuff from YouTube. So I always tell her, you watch all of these YouTube videos, all of these trainers or like dancers, even like makeup, like she be watching all of those weird stuff. But you should definitely make your own dancing video, of course. I also feel like if you work out like 
necessary. Like this is just my perspective. It's, mm. It could be another advice for new moms. I work out. Like I like to go to the gym and do like the stairmaster, and do like some weights with mm. Jean here and there. But I'm not the type of person that every day loves to be in the gym. I like to do like Zumba and like dance workouts because it just like you're burning and you're having fun at the same time so that's why i mix and match like sometimes i go to the gym and then if i don't go to the gym i'll still do like a zumba or dance cardio intense workout okay, or whatever. so we're doing a zumba video leave in the comment right now leave it in the comment like this video subscribe <laughs> yeah so and if you like this video make sure to watch our next vlog don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and how we always say, don't forget to like, that. comment, and share. Bye. <laughs>